guys and welcome back to my channel some of you might be here because you purchased my first font release delilah so i want to thank you so much for your order i hope you like this cute handwritten font as much as i do today i'm going to show you how to install the font on your ipad the same process works with your iphone so you can use it consistently in good notes across all of your devices the first thing you'll need is the iphone app this is a free app you can find on the App Store, and you'll need it to make any downloaded fonts appear on your iPad or iPhone. Now, if you haven't already, you'll need to download the font files from Etsy. You can access your files immediately after download. Just click the underlined View Digital Files Now and refresh the page until your payment is processed. You can scroll to the bottom and download your instructions and files. Included in this listing is a TTF file, an OTF file, and your set of instructions. You probably clicked on this video from that link. You can always go back and re-access your files within your Etsy account. Just click on your profile, then purchases, and you'll be able to access your available downloads. Now that you have access to your downloads, you'll want to download your file and save it to your device or open the file directly in iFont. If you've saved your file, all you need to do is open the app and click on import. Now you just need to navigate to wherever you saved your font files and click on the TTF file. Now that you've imported the font to iFont, either directly from your download dropdown or with the import feature in the app, your font will be displayed in the left side of the app. Click on install. The app will guide you through the process. It's super easy. Click allow and it will give you a profile downloaded pop-up. All you need to do now is click close. Then you'll need to navigate to your settings and you'll notice an extra tab at the top that says profile downloaded. You'll want to click on it and click install. Now you'll need to enter your passcode and install again. And you're done. When you open back up iFont, it will display as installed. That's it. Now you'll be able to access the font in GoodNotes. You'll want to repeat the process on your phone if you want your font to show up in GoodNotes there as well. You can also download the font to your computer, and that's even easier. You won't need any additional apps. You'll just be able to click on the file and install. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me an Etsy message. The link for this font will be in the description box. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time.